Good morning, how are you guys doing? So today for um, art class, we are going to be making this hippo, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna be making a hippo and we're gonna be using warm and cool colors for our background, or if you'd like to use um, or do a, a, a rainbow background, you can do a rainbow background instead. But, um, but preferably if you would like, go ahead and use warm colors, which are your reds, yellows, orange, and pinks and your cool colors, which are your blues, greens, teals, purples. So those are the colors you're gonna use. And for your supplies, you're gonna, first off, you're gonna need white paper. Make sure you have white paper. You're also going to need a pencil, a Sharpie, a paintbrush. You will also be using some watercolors and some oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, that's totally okay. Go ahead and use crayons. They work just as well. Make sure that you push down on your crayons pretty hard so that you can really see them when you paint over them with your watercolor. And when you're painting with your watercolor, make sure to not use um, too much paint and you use a good amount of water as well. And also clean your brush in between. Um, I love to see everybody's artwork, so send them on over when you're done, have fun. Okay, so to begin our hippo, we are going to, towards pretty much the center of our paper, but a little bit further down, you're going to draw two circles about the size of a dime. One, and about, you can do four finger space between and draw another circle. And that's gonna be the beginning of the hippo's nostrils. Now, once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna draw a letter C on top. So it's gonna start like this. You're gonna start over on this side. It's not gonna be perfectly on this side. It's actually gonna be off to the side a little bit. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna, and not too close, you wanna give yourself some space because then you are going to trace over with Sharpie. So you're gonna go ahead and curve, letter C, curve, letter C. Just follow the curve of your two, um, <clears throat> your two circles already. Then after that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna draw the top of your hippo's nose. So the way that you're gonna do it is you're gonna go ahead and give yourself two finger space distance to, from your letter C. You're gonna draw a little dot. Same thing on the other side, two finger space distance, little dot. So you can see my two little dots right there, one right here and one right here. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do a curve line like this. So you're going to start here, it's going to go curve, and you don't want it to be too tall, so you want it to at least go up to there. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to curve across and then bring it back down. Okay, and that's the top of your um, hippo's nose. Then, once you're done with that part, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna draw the bottom part of your hippo's nose. So before you go ahead and connect them on the bottom, what you're gonna do is right about here, you're gonna go ahead and about two finger space down, you're gonna draw a little curve in between like that. It's almost gonna look like a sad face, <laughs> the highs and the, the sad face. And then what you're gonna do on this side is that you're going to bring this line down and connect, bring this line down and connect okay and there you have your hippo's nose now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our hippo's mouth it's very simple it's not going to be as wide as the nose it's going to start on the smaller parts right here so you're going to draw a little line down a little line down on both sides and you're going to go ahead and curve curve and connect Okay, and that's the bottom of our hippo's mouth. Then once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and draw the top of our hippo's head. So the way that you're gonna do this is that you're gonna start on these two points right here on the side. So it's gonna go, you can start where you had your two original dots on each side, and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to bring a curve line up. So curve line up. Curve line up, then you're gonna go ahead and do another curve line, another curve line, and then you're gonna go ahead and do a straight line across to connect it. Very simple. 
Okay. Now that's the top of our hippo's head. So once you have that done, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw our hippo's eyes. Now our hippo's eyes are going to kind of go right about here, almost right above our nostrils, but a little bit over to the side more. So you're going to go and do about a nickel size circle, nickel size circle. And then go ahead and do a smaller size circle on the inside. Smaller size circle on the inside. You can go ahead and give your hippo some eyelashes, three on each side, one, two, and three. You can do a couple on the bottom as well. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw some eyebrows. Now the eyebrows are gonna start at the top right here and they're gonna come down like that. So you're gonna start right above the end of your um, eye on this side and bring a curve line down. Same thing on the other side, curve line down. You're not gonna go all the way down. You're gonna stop right about there, okay? Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and we're gonna do our hippo's ears. Now our ears are gonna sit right above here. So it's very simple. It's just a, pretty much a letter U. So you're gonna go ahead and start on this side and you're gonna draw a letter U. And same thing on the other side, another upside down letter U. Then once you have your two, um, your two ears, you're gonna do another second line in it. like that. Okay, now once you have your ears completed with your double lines on the side, so this is the inside part of your ear and this is the outside part of your ear, and you have your eyes, your eyebrows, your nostrils, your nose, and your mouth. Now at the top right here of your eyes, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring a curved line down like this. So you're going to start right here at this part of your eye and you're going to bring a curved line down. Same thing on the other side. Over here, curve line down. And that's kind of like the bridge of the hippo's nose in between its eyes. Now the rest of the part is super easy. You're just gonna do the body and the body's gonna start, it's just two lines. It's gonna start right above here, right underneath your, um, where your, your head and your nose meet. You're gonna go ahead and just do a curve line down. And make sure you do it kind of plump. Hippos are kind of on the chubby side, so make it a little bit fat. <laughs> and then another side over here. And then you can go ahead and do one little line and another little line. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and for your background, you're gonna do a couple lines on your background to make it look really fun and cool. So the way that you're gonna do it is you're gonna start um, on the side and we're gonna do kind of like, like rays of um, like a sunshine almost. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna do a line out. Then you're gonna do another line out. Then you're gonna go ahead and do another line out, line out, middle, out, out, all the way from the edge of your hippo all the way to the edge of your paper. Another line out. And then, that, then when we paint it in the background, we're gonna paint it some different colors. Okay, so then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and grab your Sharpie and you're going to start tracing over all of your pencil lines, just like how we do it in class and trace over all of your pencil lines. So start wherever you'd like. Remember, don't rush, take your time. Stay on your lines the best that you can. Now your eyes, you're going to color them in. You're gonna leave the small part white, but this part you're going to color in black.
And if you go outside of your lines, it's okay. When you're done tracing with the Sharpie, just go ahead and um, just erase your pencil lines, like what we do in class as well. over it all. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like that. Once you're done with all of that, then you're gonna go ahead and you're going to take out your oil pastels or your crayons, whichever one you're using, to color in your hippo. So you're gonna color in your hippo and then you're going to paint your background. Or if you'd like, you can also just outline your hippo and paint it along with your background. Or if you only wanna color it, you can also do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to color um, I'm going to outline my hippo. I'm only going to color certain parts, um, which are the nose, the nostril parts, and the inside of the ears. Those are going to be pink. The rest I'm going to outline with an oil pastel, a gray oil pastel, and then I'm going to paint the rest on top. So you can go ahead and start with your pink, your light pink, and fill in your nostrils. And the inside of your ears. Same thing on the other side, inside of the ear. And make sure you really fill it in. Don't rush. Take your time to really color it in nicely. Stay inside your lines. Okay, then what you're gonna do after that, you're gonna take your gray oil pastel and you're going to trace over your lines of your hippo. Now, if you wanna kind of fill in the, this part of your ear, you can, because it's kind of hard to paint in that. So that would just be easier if you'd like to do that. Now, if you don't want for your hippo to be gray, it does not have to be gray. You can go ahead and color it purple, green, whatever color that you want. Just go ahead and make sure that you push down a little bit hard on your crayons or your oil pastel so that you really see your gray color. You wanna make it as bright as possible. Trace all your lines. Make sure your lines are a little bit thick too so you really see your gray color or whatever color that you're using. Okay, so there's the head part and then you can go ahead and just go and trace over the mouth where the arms would be, the body area, and there you go. So once you're done with that, then you can go ahead and start painting. Now be careful when you start painting, make sure to not go ahead and paint this part any color because that's going to stay white. So if you're not, if you're not feeling comfortable, you can go ahead and take a white crayon or a white oil pastel and just fill it in so that when you do paint it it won't the oil um the oil pastel will block the watercolor from actually going inside okay then you're gonna go ahead and next use your watercolors now make sure that you have you can use your watercolors make sure that you have kind of a fat brush or you can also use a little bit of a skinny bristle or uh, end of your brush and then you also want to make sure that you have some paper towels and some 
um, some water as well. And remember to use less paint, more water, but if you feel the need to use more paint, go ahead, but do not use too much. Okay, now once you've gotten your, your water, your paintbrush, paper towels, and watercolor, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to start by painting your hippo's body and face first. Um, you're gonna leave your background for last. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a gray color, but if your watercolors doesn't come with a gray, the way that you can use gray is mix black and white, or you can do a really light black. But when you do your really light black, make sure you're only using um, a little bit of paint because otherwise you're gonna end up with a black hippo. Um, and then when you're using black and white watercolor, you're gonna use more white than black. You only need a little bit. Okay, so make sure you dip your paintbrush into the water. Make sure it gets really wet. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab some of the paint that you're going to use and start painting your hippo's face. Over back and forth, back and forth. Stay in your lines. Dip your paintbrush into your water again if you need it. And your lines, don't rush. Take your time. Do your best. And if you need a skinnier paintbrush, go ahead and grab a smaller paintbrush if that's easier for you to paint inside your lines. Remember, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You want to do gentle strokes. You don't want to go crazy. Go ahead and do some gentle strokes back and forth so that you can get a really smooth color. Okay, so now that your hippo is done, we're gonna go ahead and we are now going to paint the background. Now you can do a pattern, an AV pattern, which would be, we can do um, red, orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, orange, or you can do um, an ABC pattern, which would be red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, or if you want, you can do a rainbow pattern. Um, rainbow might be pretty fun where you can do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or if you wanna add some pink in there or some teal, you can do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a, probably an AB pattern. So I'm just gonna use two colors Make sure that your brush is really, 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 really clean in your water because you don't want to get any of the gray color in your colors for your background because then it's just going to be a gray, muddy color and you don't want that. So make sure it's really, really washed and then clean it on your paper towel like that. Okay, so I'm going to do probably warm colors. Now remember, again, warm colors are reds, yellows, oranges, and pinks. 
So I'm gonna do a combination of a warm color and a cool color. So I'm gonna do a teal and an orange background. So teal is going to be my cool color and orange is going to be my warm color. So I'm gonna start off with my teal. Remember, dip your paintbrush in your water and then go ahead and grab some paint. And you want to start at the bottom and do your best to stay in your lines. You don't want to go outside of your lines. And go ahead and still keep on using your back and forth stroke. Now, if you don't feel like you have enough paint or water, just go ahead and grab some more. You don't want for your paintbrush to be dry. You want for it to be wet. Okay. Then make sure you do all of your one color first. And then when you're done with that, then go ahead and go back and do your next color. You don't want to go ahead and switch back and forth because then your colors are going to get mixed together and get muddy. And you're not going to like that. So go ahead and paint all of, if you're doing an AB pattern, paint all of your one color first. And then after you're done with that, then paint your second color. <clears throat> Stay in your lines as best as you can. Take your time, there's no, no rush. And try to do your best to not get your background paint on your hippo. And if you do, it's okay. Do your best not to. Stay in your lines. And now if you have a little tiny space like right in there, like how I did, you can go ahead and use a smaller paintbrush to get in there. And then go back in to use your bigger paintbrush. teal spots or whatever color that you're using painted before you move on to the next color. Don't go back and forth because then your colors will get muddy. Okay, so now I've painted all my teal. Now I'm going to go and do my orange next. Clean your paintbrush really, really well. Clean it on your paper towel before you go and get a new color. So now my next color I'm going to use is going to be orange. And I go ahead, grab some of my orange. Make sure you got a good amount of water on your paintbrush. I'm going to paint. My orange spaces in the backgrounds. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. in your lines, back and forth, back and forth. 
Now, see, I got a little bit of my orange onto my blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the edge of my paper towel in a little bit of water. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and it'll take away my orange. And then when I'm done painting with my orange, I can go back over with my blue and paint where I had to kind of erase. It's like watercolor erasing. Make sure to get all your spaces. You don't want to leave any space that's not painted. You want to make sure that it's all painted. No white spots. Keep on going until you are done with your background. And if you want, you can even, um, once you're done drawing your background, you can go back over with some oil pastels and draw some cool shapes or designs in your background if you'd like. Whatever you feel like doing, if you wanted to have it more, um, more colorful you can add more color to it whatever you'd like okay now I'm gonna go back over and fix my little blue spot that I had my teal spot make sure you want to make sure that my paintbrush is really clean with no orange otherwise it's gonna turn my yucky green color I'm gonna grab a little bit of teal just paint over it like that. And there you go. And there is how you do a hippo. I hope you guys had fun. See you next week.